arrives in earnest this month with less likelihood of frost in cold areas and humidity increasing towards the end of the month in tropical areas. Tomato seedlings sown last month are ready for pricking out now. Pricking out is simply a gardening term for putting seedlings in their own pot so they can grow a strong root system before being planted out into the garden. Simply prick out of the soil, carefully place into a hole and firm down. These tomatoes can now be kept in a protected place like a propagation unit. If you're growing pumpkins this year, there's a couple of tips you should know. Pumpkins are long, vigorous vines that grow throughout spring and summer, ready to be harvested in autumn. Plant in a place where they can sprawl freely for the next six months. If you plan on saving seed, grow only one variety of each species to avoid cross-pollination. What that means is you can grow one Jarrodale, for example, and a Waltham butternut, and still save seed. But you can't grow a Jarrodale and a Queensland Blue because the two will cross-pollinate and the resulting seed will not be true to type. Of course, you can grow multiple plants, but just of the one type. If saving seed is not important though, grow a variety of pumpkins and you'll get to reap the reward of a beautiful harvest of delicious heirlooms. Other warm soil crops to grow now include corn, beans, melons, cucumbers, and peppers. It's also tuber time in the garden with galangal and turmeric available now. Prepare the soil by incorporating some well-rotted compost and decomposed manure prior to planting. Plant just below soil level and mark with a stake to avoid digging in the area accidentally. Another great herb to plant now is wasabi. Suited to moist shaded areas and pots, the leaves are edible as well as the root, which is used to make wasabi paste. If you'd like to know more about what to do in your growing zone this month, check the diggers website for details.